Hey friends, Jessica here. So in this um, little quick demo tutorial sort of thing, I'm going to show you how I made this feather. So now that I finally finished the embroidery brushes, now I want to show you like some ideas of what you can do with them. So whenever I was doing this feather, I first of all kind of decided my color scheme that I wanted and I went over to my artboards and I grabbed these and I copied them and pasted them over here so I can kind of have my little palette of embroidery threads ready and it really gives me a good visual and just helps my creative process a little bit more. And if you notice, I even went ahead and applied the graphic styles to them and um, using the shadows and I have more shadow uh, options in the latest update. So if you haven't updated it, um, re-download it from wherever you've downloaded the brushes from. And also don't forget, if you don't have these brushes yet and you want to play around with them, you can download a free um, sampler on my blog and basically do the same thing, just different colors. But um, yeah, you can totally follow along. And whenever I was creating that, so there I got everything kind of in place, ready to go. And I mean, you can see the brush strokes here, so that's pretty obvious. But the first thing that I do is I'll create like a new uh, a layer. Where did I put it? Here with just a simple sketch. And so I created this separate from my embroidery layer. And I just use the default illustrator brush here, the little whatever this one is, and made just a little sketch, lowered the opacity and locked the layer. And then I did my embroidery on top of it. And it gives me a good little guide, you know, a little outline, but it's always good to have a sketch no matter what you do. So I had that over here and used that as my little sketch. And as you can see, it lined up. It was cute. And then I just simply um, drew these. And here I'll do a, I actually recorded my process. Oh, wait, no, I can't show you, I don't think. Let's see. I don't know if I can play a screen recording here. Well, okay, maybe I can. I'm going to scroll through this because... I want to give you value and give you ideas, but sometimes I don't need to go through every single thing while I'm making a, a, a demo. So you can see I went through and just followed my little pattern that I had made. And what's cool about the way that I made these colors, it makes it really easy to make a little ombre kind of effect and just had some fun with that. And then now I'm going to show you some other tricks. So one thing that um, is really helpful with when using these embroidery um, brushes here for Illustrator is you want to remember this, the, the letter V and the letter B. So all the time, rather than going over here and clicking brush, do my brush, and then I need to grab my selection tool so I can touch this, it's much, much easier to use shortcuts. So. I click, I just touch the V key, like just the letter V, and that gives me my selection tool. So this is a big time saver. So when I'm switching between brushes, this could be really tedious, but using this trick, you know, using the keyboard shortcuts makes it a lot faster. So I push the letter V, and then I'll touch this brush, and then I touch the letter B, and now when I brush, it's using that brush. So now I want to quick switch to the next brush. I'm going to click V, touch this one, and then touch B again. And now I'm doing that brush. Now, once again, I'm gonna touch the letter V for my keyboard shortcut. I will grab, I'll touch this, and then go to B, and then the next brush stroke is going to use that. And same thing, V, touch that, B. So keyboard shortcuts are your friend. And as you can see it, whenever you brush it, because I touched this that already has the little drop shadow on it, then your brush stroke will have the drop shadow. So this is a really um, good productivity tip and for working with the embroidery. And let's hear one other thing that I like to do sometimes. Um, I'm just gonna show here. So I'm gonna grab this brush and click B and I'm gonna make like I did over here. So I'm just gonna make this little, you know, kind of shape. And one thing that's good to do, I want this thread to make sure that it's behind this thread so it'll look nice. So um, I'm gonna click V, I'll grab a thread and click B. 
Now, if I go over here, this area, make, you can click draw behind, and so that that way whenever you draw, it's behind that. So that's a nice little trick when you, when all if you're key, you know if you have something like this that's on the same layer, um, then that's a good trick. And then always just make sure to go back to draw in front because generally we draw in front. But that's something that helped me. So I enjoy to share these little tips with you. And what else did I want to show you? Those are the main ones. Oh. And then what I was going to show you is at the end of my time lapse, I'm going to move these off to the side. I've got my whole design here, but let's say I want this, like I want to have this thing to go like around the edges or make a graphic using this, but um, you know, it's only in one position. Maybe we want, I'm like, oh, I love this, but I want it to be curling this way and curling this way. Well, this is the cool thing about Illustrator is I'm going to just, I'm going to save this one over to the side. I'm going to click copy and paste, give myself a different one to work with because I don't want to mess up my original. So I've got this one. I'm going to turn it this way. And if you're making brushes, um, it's always good to go left to right. So, because that's the way that, you know, um, rather than having, you know, anyway, it's just how, how it works for brushes. So like it's going to go this way, so I'm going to set up my brush going that way. Now I'm just going to go open my brush panel. I'm taking the whole thing that I just made and I'm going to drop it in there, click art brush, click OK. And this is going to turn this into an art brush and I'm going to leave it as stretch to fit stroke length. I think it's OK. I'll click OK and I've got that new brush right up there. I've actually made one before. And now I'm going to delete this and I will just move this off so we can kind of give ourselves a little space here. Let's move this bad boy off. And I'm going to hide my sketch layer, grab on a new layer, take my brush, make sure I have my art brush. And sometimes it takes a little second. Okay. And now I'm just going to go like this and I can use that. And what's cool is it's not always the same shape and stuff, you know, so you can, it goes along with the curve that you're drawing. And so that way you can, um, you know, make, make a cool border like this or have multiple ones and not have to like, um, it can all, they all, they can all have different curves and directions, which is really cool. Although one little tip is that I, I drew this with a curve on it, but if I was going to draw this again, knowing that I'm going to use this as a brush, I would have went ahead and made this completely straight. Um, because then it would, uh, follow my curves for my brush stroke a little bit more closely, but that is really cool. And so you can have it going all different ways and, you know, uh, it's just a big time saver too, rather than like copying, pasting it around the board, the borders, and then like using a puppet warp or something to like give it a different angles. It's like, you can see here, this had a curve like this. This has a curve like this. They all look different and you can make some really cool things like that. So hopefully, um, you guys enjoyed these tips. It'll give you some ideas for your own, um, embroidery work and have a little fun. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And then I'm going to, um, what I'll do is I'm going to have my little, uh, file for this available for my Patreons so they can like, so you can learn from this. So I'll have my, uh, my artboard, my sketch, the brushes so that you can kind of, um, play around with this, make your own. And it saves you a lot of time. And I'm even going to, leave this available for you so that you can, you know, change the threads or learn from it or whatever. So I'll have that on my Patreon, um, available to download for my tools and tutorials and up memberships. And then, um, just stay tuned to make sure you're subscribed because if you like this content, I am doing a lot of tutorials this week with the embroidery brushes and don't forget to get your free brush set on my blog.